Chapter 22, A World Functioning on Massive Debt, William Bramley in The Gods of Eden writes that as long as people use their checking accounts and don't demand too much actually cash, a bank will be safe, a bank can go broke however if enough of its loans default or too many depositors demand their actual physical cash. The result of this system is massive debt at every level of society because banks are in debt to its depositors and the depositors' money is loaned out and creates indebtedness to the banks. According to Bloomberg.com in March, 2014, and reported by the Bank for International Settlements, the amount of debt globally has soared more than 40% to $100 trillion since the first signs of the financial crisis, as governments borrowed to pull their economies out of recession and companies took advantage of low interest rates. The $30 trillion increase from $70 trillion between mid-2007 and mid-2013 compares with a $3.386 trillion decline in the value of equities to $53.8 trillion in the same period, according to data compiled by Bloomberg, the jump in debt as measured by the Basel, Switzerland, based BIS in its quarterly review is almost twice the United States' gross domestic product GDP. Borrowing has soared as central banks suppress benchmark interest rates to spur growth after the United States' subprime mortgage market collapsed and Lehman Brothers Holdings Incorporated's bankruptcy sent the world into its worst financial crisis since the Great Depression, according to Branham McGruick. An analyst and Andreas Shrimp from BIS given the significant expansion in government spending in recent years, governments including central, state and local governments have been the largest debt issuers, Statista.com in 2016, reported on the 20 countries with the highest public debt in relation to the gross domestic product GDP. At the top was Japan with an estimated debt of 249% of GDP, followed by Lebanon, Italy, Portugal, Eritrea, Jamaica, Bhutan, Cabo Verde, United States, 107.49%, Belgium, Barbados, Cyprus, Spain, Singapore, France, the Gambia, Antigua and Barbuda. Ukraine, Iraq and Belize. Touchstone blog Org UK reported in February 2015, that UK household debt in 2013 was among the highest in the world coming out in fifth place. The Netherlands was first in the table, in second place was Australia, followed by Ireland, Canada, UK, Portugal, Korea, Sweden, United States, Spain. Finland, Japan, Greece, EEA, Germany, France, Belgium, Austria and finally Italy. Although the UK's household debt levels are predicted to move into second place by 2019, the report showed how debt increases are set to outpace income levels vastly. Statista.com also showed how mortgage debt outstanding in the United States has increased between 2001 and 2015. From 2001 the amount in trillions of United States dollars stood at 7.48. It peaked in 2008 at 14.72 and reduced slightly in 2014 to 13.44 trillion US dollars. Owed by Americans, Jim Mars in his book entitled The Trillion Dollar Conspiracy says that behind America's unemployment catastrophe is an entire nation awash with debt, from the private individual through city and state governments to the federal government, our country is buried under a staggering load of debt, he goes on to say that as of early 2011, the public still knew little about where their taxes went after it was spent to prop up banks that were considered too big to fail. In reality, the money went to the estimated $9 trillion in off-balance sheet transactions, according to Bloomberg News. 
the public had no idea of the details of the transactions, just that they bailed out foreign banks, and the Fed gave them no answers. Americans would have covered bank losses with higher taxes and lower standards of living, only in the lunatic asylum. Jim Mars goes on to say that the outrage over the Fed's actions was compounded by an Associated Press report that the privately owned Federal Reserve System made record profits during the economic meltdown, the largest profits made by the Fed since 1914, the year it started. By 2010, the central bank recorded a windfall of $52.10 billion. In 2009, Alan Grayson, former Democratic representative for Florida, was one of the only congressmen to ask questions of Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, concerning missing taxpayer funds. Amazingly, he was attacked by conservative and business groups and also voted out of office. Mars goes on to say that if every American man, woman and child were to liquidate every asset he or she owns, the total could not equal the debt of almost $12 trillion in 2009. $1 trillion would stretch to the sun and back, multiply it 12 times. In the UK in July, 2016, the Council of Mortgage Lenders estimated that in June, 2016, gross mortgage lending reached £2.70 billion, the highest June figure in eight years. Gross mortgage lending for the second quarter of 2016 was an estimated £56.10 billion, that's just one quarter out of four. The Council of Mortgage Lenders are banks building societies and other lenders who together undertake around 95% of all residential mortgage lending in the UK. They reported that there are 11.1 million mortgages in the UK with loans totaling over £1.3 trillion. In September, 2016, Yahoo News in the UK reported that 62% of all bank lending in the UK was attributed to mortgage lending. According to both HSBC Bank and the Bank of England, this means that the bank's balance sheets are tied to the ability of customers to make their loan repayments otherwise the banks could go to the wall, people are having to take on more debt in order to own their own home and wages are not rising fast enough to keep up with the increases in property values. Whilst it has become cheaper to service debt due to record low interest rates, People are borrowing more, spending more and not bothering to pay off their debt piles.